Okay, here we are in Pingendo, and we're going to look at adding some team faces in little circle placeholders. So, we've opened up Pingendo, um, I come along, I get a blank. Now, what I will be doing is I would normally sort of save this. So, again, I'll go File and Save Document to Add. I save it in my site folder. Mostly, you'll be using this as a component on a page, but we're just going to put this as the only item. I click save. I'll just move my code down to the bottom. And in the sections down here, in the contents, you will have team with three faces. And I click on the, now all I need to do is select one of these items. Now what I've already done is I've cropped an image that is 300 pixels square at 72 pixels per inch and then I've saved those as PNGs put them in the folder in my site folder which is here faces and I've got these three faces that I've just cropped them square but they're 300 square by 72 DPI I close that down I click on my first one I go to the settings again as you can do with Pingendo give things um, IDs if you want I'm just doing a mock-up so I'll just leave it as it is and first of all I'll go here where it's got the source image I click here I open up my faces I select the face and I click open and there it is and then I come along here again go over here I select another face I place it on here and then finally get my last one come up here and select another face and put it on there. Now what you would do is amend these names appropriately. They've just got the um, names and titles. Then again, you can carry on and add other page elements and continue to work on your project. You continue to add images, just bring it another one in there. And there you go, you just carry on building up your site. Okay, I'll just test this responsiveness. So I can click up here and check the different media query points that it has all the way down there and there we go that sort of works quite nicely on the page okay that's just another simple way of adding these sort of components using Pingendo the visual editor for uh, bootstrap again to get the most out of it you probably need to go into the code down the bottom and amend these a little bit more probably going to Twitter bootstrap and looking at the documentation and adding more components that may be not totally available through Pingendo.